In this video, we will go through the steps of making a ham, from fabrication of the ham from the slaughtered pig to the sale of the final product. Circleville Farms is a small meat processing facility located in a rural farm community of central Pennsylvania. They employ 12 full-time employees and three temporary workers. The Circleville Farm slaughters local pigs, butchers the carcasses to obtain whole muscles, also known as primal cuts, and then processes the whole muscles into a variety of products such as bacon, pork shoulder, pork loins, pork chops, and hams. On average, they process eight pigs per day, all of which come from their own farm or other farms in the region. Two hams are removed from each pork carcass, with each ham weighing approximately 25 pounds. After the hams are removed, the hams are skinned, and the H-bone is removed. Workers will weigh out ingredients for the cure solution. These ingredients include phosphate, brown sugar, ham spice, cure, and salt. These compounds give hams their characteristic flavor and color. The cure is prepared fresh each day, and one batch can be injected and used for the entire day's production. Next, workers apply the liquid cure solution to each ham with an injector system. The injector system ensures that the cure solution is evenly distributed throughout the ham. After injection, the hams are placed in large tubs along with additional cure solution that was prepared previously. These tubs are then stored at roughly 38 degrees Fahrenheit for up to five days. This step is known as a cover cure. Curing is an important step in the process since it gives ham the distinctive color that is seen after cooking and smoking. Cured hams are stuffed into netting and hung on racks on a smokehouse tree. Once all the hams are netted and hung, the tree is rolled into the smokehouse. After the hams are rolled into the smokehouse, wood chips are added to the hopper. Smoking with wood imparts the smoked flavor associated with cured hams. Hams are cooked and smoked for approximately four and a half to five hours. The process is complete when the ham reaches an internal temperature of 153 degrees Fahrenheit. After cooking and smoking, the hams are cooled to 40 degrees Fahrenheit overnight in the smokehouse cooler. After cooling, the hams are removed from the netting and cut in half by a saw and trimmed by hand. While some hams can be sold whole, some can be sliced and sold in one to two pound packages. Ham slices are weighed and vacuum packaged in preparation for retail sale. All sliced ham packages are sold through the retail store at the farm. Because of the demand, each day's production is sold within two days of slicing. Each two pound package has a shelf life of one week and serves four people. Price and weight information are printed for each package of ham. 